Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I have been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned, I felt. I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. And the Nornir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there is something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sighed a wolf cup, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then, I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. I see your stores. Nothing more today. I'll see you later, friend. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. What are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! We need your help! Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No. They're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are 
are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. You have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Survey the area, Sunan. house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. A key to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. Free that wolf, and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait! Easy now! 
deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. Well, we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfga. What? The wolfga. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Avo? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, alright? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. 